Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Prince Mason. Today I'm going to be showing you how to use gradient maps to tone your images or to grade your images, whichever one you want to call it. This is a simple, easy and fantastic way to get good colors in your images. Now, with that being said, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you subscribe and do not forget to you know, turn on the notifications so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. Also give this video a thumbs up at the end if you like it. And with that being said, let's get straight into today's video. Now, the best way to do that or the way to start is to come down here and open gradient maps right here. Now you can also come to um, layers and new adjustment layer and gradient map, you know, whichever one works for you, then click OK, it's going to open it. So whichever one works for you, but this seems easier for me. So just come down here. Um, from your layers panel and just click gradient maps so simple and easy right okay we're done that's it i'm joking so yeah so the way gradient maps it works is once you get into gradient maps click this button right here or this icon right here and click this um brush presets or what do you call it um uh, presets right okay yeah whatever <laughs> click the presets right here then come down to photographic toning and click it. So once you open photographic toning, it's going to open or it's going to bring out these swatches of you know gradient, different gradient maps for you, which is what we'll be working with now. The good thing about this ones now, if you come back to these presets and you probably just you know um, go to the color harmonies or something, click OK. It's going to bring out like a lot of color. You can see all this. Um, plenty colors in your images now this works you know if you want to use this but to get like your images to look good and to work and to get the colors that work with skin tones it's best to use the photographic toning so once you click okay you can see that all these tones right they have like um a certain amount of skin tones in the mid tones wow I, I can't believe I just said that <laughs> but they have a specific amount of color that works with skin tones you know right there in um, the neutrals, you know, you have your highlights, you have your midtones, you have your shadows. So right there in the midtones, it's nice. So all you have to do is just click one, look for the one that worked for you. Now I want this image to look warm. I want my midtones and um, the highlights of my image to look warm here. So I'm just going to click, you know, this this will work for me. I'll click OK. I'll just click that. Then I'll change my blend mode to soft light. Now as you can see, like it works very well for this image, but this is not how we're going to leave it. I'm just going to take my opacity down to 30 and you know it's added the warmth that i want in this image if this is what i want to go for then you know i'm just going to go for it but you know i just don't want to stop here you know like um probably 21 will be fine for this image but i don't want to stop here i want to go an extra mile i want to show you guys something that you can do so i don't know if you've ever heard of the blend if option in photoshop it's a fantastic way to actually decide what goes into your shadows and what goes into your your mid-tones and what goes into your highlights it's just it's just a fantastic tool all around instead of having to mask this out you know if i want to do it like let's say i want to put another gradient into my shadows then you know i'm going to like have to get a brush and start masking out but let's get into blended options right so click here and open your layer styles once you look down here you can see there's a blended option and choose gray right now all I have to do, I want this in the mid-tones and the highlights, but I don't want it in my shadows. So I'm going to work with the underlying layer and just pull it out. Once I do that, you can see that it's actually leaving the shadows and it's coming into the mid-tones. But the only problem with that is I can see artifacts here. It's not blending in very well. And the way to do that is to hold option on Mac, alternate on PC, and this will break out. Once you do that, then it just blends in seamlessly so right now we just have it in the shadows and in the mid tones so i'm just going to pull this back and i'll show you guys that thing again so once i pull it in just look around this place then once i pull out you can see how it blends in seamlessly i'll click ok and i'm just going to increase my opacity so you guys can see this so as you can see it's just right there in barely touching my shadows right now I'm going to open this option again and bring it down here and i'm just going to pull this away some more from the shadows i just want in the mid-tones and the highlights and just pull this down here and click ok so this works very well i can see this now it's just right there in my um, highlights and my mid-tones it's not in my shadows now let's say i want to add like another color to my shadows i want to add like a blue um color to my shadow all i have to do is uh, click open 
click this, my adjustments, then open gradient maps again. Pick one that has blues in it, something like this. Um, I'll click OK. Then I'll change my opacity to, sorry, I'll change my blend mode to soft light. Now with this like this, I want to show you how blend if works again. So I'm going to open blend if, pull this out, come down to my underlying layer. Now I don't want it in my highlights, so I'm going to pull this out. As I'm pulling that, you can see it's leaving the highlights and the shadows, right? Sorry, the highlights and the midtones, but it's not leaving the shadows. So at this point, now what I want to do is I want to blend it in. So remember what I told you guys the first time, option or option on Mac, alternate on PC, so on Windows. So I'm just going to hold that, then I'll slide this. And this is only going to be in the shadows. Wonderfully. See, it's blended and that is only in the shadows. It's not touching my highlights. So now I can just reduce my opacity to where I want it to be. This is, I think a bit much as 70. So um, I put both of them in a group to show you guys the, so this is before and this is after. It's a quick way to just add a particular kind of tone to your image. I wanted my skin tones to be a little bit um, warm and I've gotten that with this. Simple, easy, and I had some blues in the hair and you know, that's just it. Very easy way to tone your images. You can try this with your outdoor images. You can try this with different images and they're just going to give you, you know, um, different awesome and great results. So there's a quick way to get that golden feel and, and, and skin tones or you know just to add the particular kind of tone to your images and yeah so this is it i'll show you guys again before and after now for this image i might actually drop the opacity a little bit but for the sake of this video i'm just going to leave it there so you guys can actually see the effect of this new technique so thank you very much for watching this video if you like this video and you've learned anything from this video please give me a thumbs up also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this and if you haven't, I think you should do that right now. Turn on notifications so you can receive notifications every time I put up a new video. And follow me across all my social media platforms, which um, are my platforms, I mean, which are Instagram. I'm, I'm most active on Instagram. And, um, and Facebook. I'm trying to be active on Facebook now. So thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you learned something. I'll see you guys in another video. Have a great day. Peace.